Thanks for still playing the Super Mario Maker 2 game. In Rejected Updates number 14, we asked you for ideas on features that could be in our new game, Super Immersive Maker 2, where the game directly interacts with you, and you give a bunch of great ideas, so let's it go. Getting a mushroom in the game will cause you to grow twice your size. Want to play a windy desert level? Just be careful that the huge gust of wind doesn't blow you away. Playing in an underwater level causes water to burst out of your TV and fill your entire room. Lava rising in a level will cause actual lava to rise out of your floors. Now you can play the floor is literally lava. And if you like playing dark levels, everything turns dark except a circle of light around you. When a bomb gets set off in the game, your TV explodes. Meowser's fire towards the screen will fly out of your TV right at you. Also, if you ever get touched by a fire bar or burner, your controller will catch on fire. And if a lava bubble ever hits you, your entire body bursts into flames. If you play at night and the moon touches you, random objects in your room will disappear. In normal Mario Maker 2, the Magic Koopa can transform blocks into other things and the player just dies. But in this game, magic touching the player will cause you to transform into a random thing. A thwomp hitting the ground will cause your entire room to shake as if there was an earthquake. Playing in the low gravity night air theme will cause you to experience no gravity and start to float around. Getting star power makes you glow and anything you touch gets destroyed. When you're zapped by a blue Mecha Koopa, the zap goes through the TV and electrocutes you till you're a floating puff of ash. If you use the reset rocket to erase a level, your entire house will be deleted as well. Restarting a level restarts your entire day from when you woke up in the morning. If you play an upside down level, you and your chair will go upside down, except that gravity brings you back down to the ground. If you die in the game, you also die in real life. When you jump on a dry bones, your own body collapses. Then a few seconds later, it comes back together. If a mole jumps from the ground in the game, then a real mole breaks through your floor also. Getting a fire flower gives you the ability to throw fire from your hands, so be careful. If you're in editor mode and you move Mario, it will move you also. When shooting off with a propeller, you also spin upward and go through the ceiling. If you get a pea balloon in the game, then your actual body will expand and your farts will propel you. If you get killed by a saw in the game, you get cut in half in real life. If you get caught up in a twister, a real tornado will also throw you around. Getting a pea switch will turn everything solid into coins. Hitting the axe in the game will cause your actual ground to collapse under you and fall into lava. Playing an underwater level will cause your entire room to fill with water. If you throw a super ball, it will break through your screen and bounce all over the place. Getting the cursed key will cause Fanto to fly around your actual room. Getting into the car will cause wheels to grow on your chair and crash you forward into something. Erasing items in the editor will also cause real things in your room to get erased. When you play in the snow theme, your entire room will transform to cold and you will freeze to death. You're probably wondering how I got into this position. Well, my life is pretty weird. Hi, I'm Danny, and my roommates are Mario characters. Uh, it's very strange to start off with... Why did you throw me a plunger? Toilets clog. Do you think everyone is a plumber? <sighs> Anyways, like I was saying, to start off, you have to always watch where you're walking because you could accidentally get destroyed. I have to know where the bob is at all times. Charbarg definitely gets in the way sometimes. Uh, 
I wake up when the angry sun wants me to. You are the worst alarm clock. <laughs> the skip squeak can be cute, but definitely gets in the way sometimes. Sometimes the piranhas try to help me warm up my frozen meals. Then other times they just want to eat my meal. But the worst is when the Magic Koopa transforms my meal. I gotta always be on my toes. So in summary, living with Mario characters isn't that bad. It isn't that bad. You know, they can be a little bit annoying. They can be a little bit annoying, but ultimately they... What do you want? We're out of milk. Oh, hey, what's up? Uh, you may remember last time I talked about living with uh, Mario enemies as roommates and how crazy and weird that could be. Well, uh, I moved and uh, they all came with me. Uh, so uh, actually it's way more than just enemies this time. It's like the whole Mario universe. The worst thing was the very first day when Spike threw a ball right through my wall. It's nice to get exercise on the conveyor when I can stay on it. The claws can be super helpful when I need just a little extra storage. When I'm in my backyard, the moles can really take me by surprise. I do my best to get rid of the bees, but that can backfire. The twister tries to help me reach the places up high, but it ends up not actually helping. However, if I need to get on the roof, the bumpers do a very good job with that. The worst is accidentally stepping on a snake. I have to be extra careful if I leave food out because I'll start to notice ants. And I have to be really careful when cooking omelets. So overall, I mean, it's a little weird sometimes, but uh, it's not that big of a deal. It's kind of cool and, oh, hang on a second. <laughs> Bully wants to play. <laughs> hey buddy, you want me to kick the bumper for you here? Do you love making hot garbage levels, but wish you could live in them instead of just play them? If so, please seek medical help and then buy Hot Garbage Maker 2 Real Life Edition. Adding sniper thwomps to your level will cause real sniper thwomps to crush you out of nowhere. If you put in a door that leads the player to death, all of your doors will do the same thing. If your level has too many effects, you'll see and hear those same effects all around you. If you do the classic troll of an on-off block ceiling switching to make enemies fall on you, your own light switches will do the same thing. If you made a windy level, it will also get really windy at your place. If you thought it was fun to add a bunch of twisters in your level, you'll get to see how fun it really is. These super fun rooms full of bumpers will make it extra hard to get through one of your own rooms. If you put a flying muncher in a pipe to attack the player, I suggest you be careful when going to the bathroom. And of course, if you have any friends over, your actual life will lag and glitch out. Now it's your turn! Post in the comments more ideas of garbage from levels that could happen in your own life and it might be featured in a future video.